Hi, and welcome to the EPS Society's Awards 2021. Make yourselves comfortable and enjoy the music while everybody gathers.
Welcome to the EPS Society's Awards 2021. Tonight we celebrate the excellent work of 42 societies in the College of Engineering and Physical Sciences at the University of Birmingham. Whilst we're still unable to celebrate in our usual venue of the Great Hall in the Aston Webb building behind me, we can nonetheless come together from the comfort of our homes to recognise our societies and their amazing work over what has been an unprecedented and challenging academic year. If there's anything that the last year has taught us, it's the power and importance of community. So today we come together to celebrate the community of the College of EPS and the amazing people who have forged and strengthened that community throughout this year. These awards are a celebration of the dedication of our society members put into making the student experience at the University of Birmingham a great thing. Our societies are at the very heart of our college and we're proud to have such a diverse range of student groups representing us both within the university and within the larger community. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the EPS Society's Awards 2021. I'm Avery, this year's lead for the event. I'm a current student, alum of the university, and have been an enthusiastic member of the EPS Society's since my very first year at the university. I'm sure I speak for all of us when I say this past year has brought challenges that we could never have anticipated. Never before have I had to react so quickly to barriers that I didn't even imagine would exist. This is why it's more important than ever before to recognise the achievements of exceptional students and staff within the college. Sadly, we again cannot hold our usual black tie event on campus, but these awards stand for much more than just one evening of celebration. And so the show must go on. This evening, you'll be hearing from staff, students and alumni from across the college as we take the time to celebrate the achievements of the past year. I hope wherever you are, you're sitting comfortably, ready for the evening ahead, whether that's with family, friends, a society watch party, whatever you might be doing. Feel free to use the hashtag EPS Awards to show us what you're up to, whether that's being dressed up to the nines or lounging comfortably. It is now my absolute pleasure to hand you over to Elsa. Good evening, my name is Ailsa Mummery and I'm a PhD student here in Mechanical Engineering. We've invited some hopefully familiar faces to help us present these awards tonight, but we'd also like you to share your looks with us. Use hashtag EPS Awards and share off your fancy frocks or your coziest slippers. And with that, let's move on to our first award of the night, Sports Personality, and our first guest presenter. Hi everyone, my name is Alicia and I am a final year biological sciences student and the upcoming secretary for the Women in Science and Engineering Society. The Sports Personality of the Year Award recognizes those sports people who have shown enthusiasm and commitment in their discipline. They are motivational personalities, generous with their time in supporting their teammates and always encourage the continual development of their team. The shortlisted nominees for this year's Sports Personality of the Year Award are Amy Johnson from Birmingham University Material Society, Sam Davies from MathSoc, Tom Rowley from Birmingham University Material Society, James Wilkins from the Engineering Eagles, and finally, Elizabeth Ward from EPS Mix Netball. And the winner is, drumroll please, Sam Davies! for his incredible work hosting his own Not The London Marathon to raise 5,541 pounds for the Meningitis Research Foundation and supporting all participants to smash their running goals. Congrats, Sam. Thanks, Alicia. And now it's my honor to be able to present the Sports Team of the Year Award for 2020-2021. These teams are inclusive and tight-knit. They play as a team, working with the strengths of all members and promote sporting excellence and healthy competition. The shortlisted teams for 2020-2021 are Buses FC, Eagles Hockey, Engineering RFC, MathSoc and PPS Netball. All these are awesome teams that anybody would be proud to be part of, but the winner of Sports Team of the Year 2020-2021 is Engineering RFC. In recognition for your work as a team to integrate your new members into the club with the creation of your family network events over Facebook during lockdown, 
and your drive to include members of all levels of skill and expertise through training sessions and social events. Congratulations and thank you to all those Sports Award nominees. You have done an amazing job this year keeping your members active and as part of a community. Now we have a musical interlude, so feel free to grab a cup of tea or maybe a glass of bubbly. Do any of us know what we want? Or are we settling for what's right in front? We've broken oh so many hearts Unintentionally, it wasn't meant to be Me and my friends, we drink to forget And I'm sorry, was it something that they said? This life is looking rather blue I just think I need something to do I'm shaking, I've fallen to the ground And in this moment I can hear a sound Feels like I've lost another round So I'm gone now before you come around And this town has broken me in two Each night he's left me black and blue The drink's not working anymore So I've gone down and I've hit the floor I'm shaking, I'm falling to the ground I hope you enjoyed your virtual performance and you're ready to move on to the next award. Although we haven't been able to congregate in person this year, you guys have been absolutely amazing at adapting and organizing some epic virtual events. From careers, to networking, to outreach, to industry tours, you guys have really risen to the challenge. And now we would like to award the Outstanding Event Award. Over to our next guest host. My name is Professor Ian Jefferson. I'm the Deputy Head of College here in the College of Engineering and Physical Sciences. The Outstanding Events Award recognises exceptional, inclusive, original and involved events that encourage attendees to learn new skills and meet new people in an informative and inspirational way. These events are impactful and, and whether they empower one person or a hundred are well organised and support students in their experience here at the college and at the university. This year's shortlist events are the EPS Running Festival by Chemsop, the Future in SciComs event series by SatNav, International Women's Day 2021 by WISE, World Space Week by AstroSoc, and finally X-Ray by Radiology by the University of Birmingham Virtual Reality. It is with great pleasure that I now announce the winner for the Outstanding Events Award. And the winner is the EPS Running Festival by Chemsoc. Many congratulations for the achievement of this award in recognition of the work you've done to support students at this difficult time, both mentally and physically, and in particular for the near £8,000 that you've raised for mental health charity MIND. I'm Andrea, I'm a lecturer in cybersecurity, and I'll be presenting the Volunteer of the Year Award. This award recognizes individuals who have committed themselves to a cause activity or event for the greater good of their society, university, or wider community. They have consistently dedicated their time and effort in a selfless manner to help others succeed in their goals, overcome challenges, and undertake tasks by making valuable contributions that have positive impact. Shortlisted for Volunteer of the Year are Claire Fletcher, Out in STEM Fatima Beebe, Women in Tech Jack Priest, Maths Art Laura Joseph, Black Ethnic and Minority Scientist and Patricia Pascan, Women in Tech The selfless passion and dedication you have shown to the community of the College of EPS 
in the wider community is incredible and you all deserve the utmost praise. However, we can only pick one winner. And this year's volunteer of the year is Claire Fletcher, OSTEM. Congratulations. Claire had the unenviable role of becoming the chair of OSTEM Society during a pandemic after being away from the university for a year abroad. This award recognizes the amazing community you enabled this year through the OSTEM Discord server, helping to create a safe, supporting and welcoming space for LGBTQ plus students studying STEM, many of whom may have been engaging with the LGBTQ plus community for the first time or attending university in unsupportive home environments due to travel restrictions. Not only this, you also gave countless hours of your time during a busy academic year to act as the programming lead and technical support for STEM LGBTQ and you, a UK-based international conference for LGBTQ plus people in STEM. Congratulations again. Hi, my name's Naomi Green and I'm a researcher in biomedical engineering and a lover of all things outreach and public engagement. So I'm delighted to be presenting this award this evening. This award is for those who are dedicated to delivering outreach to local schools and the general public. They volunteer their time because they see it as part of their role as students to inform and educate on a multi-generational level and share the discoveries from the research at the university. As always, the judges had a very difficult decision uh, because they have to choose between brand new activity being done by societies for the first time versus successful outreach projects that societies have been doing for years. So once again, we've decided to award a continued excellence in outreach award alongside the outreach award for brand new activity. So the shortlist is Astrosop, Alan Dos Santos from the Energy Society, Lizzie Driscoll from Chemsop, Robert Webster also from Chemsop, and Wise. And the winner is Lizzie Driscoll from Chemsop. I'm delighted to give Lizzie this award for her commitment to engaging the local community and enhancing chemistry outreach. Her dedication to making battery education accessible to all and inclusive is inspiring. She's developed an effective model for explaining how lithium ion batteries operate using the game Jenga. She has worked with the Royal Society of Chemistry, ACES and Discovery Magazine. Lizzie has worked with local teachers, specialist teachers, uh, to support and engage students with visual impairment. As well as doing this, she's designed and delivered 200 chemistry kits to disadvantaged students in Cotteridge so that they can take part in the virtual Coco Mad Festival last year, which normally takes place in the local park. Congratulations, Lizzie, you've done so well. So, in addition to that, we're going to give a Continued Excellence Award to WISE for their work on their Girls in STEM project. They've overcome the challenges of the pandemic by giving local schools experiment at home work booklets and doing a mini lecture series. But it was a really tough decision, so we've also decided to give Astrosoc a commendation for their continued work in science communication with the general public. Congratulations to you all. I can't wait to see what you do next. Hi, I'm Tyler Kelly, and I'm a lecturer in geometry and mathematical physics in the School of Mathematics and the OSTEM staff representative. I'm here to present the Diversity and Inclusion Award. This award in the EPS Society's awards is presented to those individuals and societies that work together in order to reach every university member in our community. The shortlist is Claire Stalswell, Kim Sock. Fiona Clark, Kim Sock. OSTEM, out in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. WISE, women in science and engineering. And WIT, women in tech. And the winner is Claire Dowswell from ChemSoc for her Identifying Barriers in STEM seminar series, increasing awareness of the barriers faced by disabled, transgender, black, female, first generation, and autistic people in STEM to an international audience. 
with accessibility at the heart of the organization from the beginning. Claire has set an ex excellent standard for inclusivity and built a platform on which to foster an inclusive culture within the School of Chemistry. Congratulations to Claire. The judges also decided to award OSTEM with the Cont Continued Excellence in Diversity and Inclusion Award for their continued dedication to providing a safe space for all LGBTQ students in STEM, especially during a year where many have found it much more difficult before to access their community. Congratulations to OSTEM. Hello again, everyone. I hope you've been having a lovely evening so far. Now we're going to take the time to celebrate those members of our societies outside of their organizing committees who truly get stuck into everything. Their proactivity and willingness to help out cannot be faulted, and they have participated in many, if not all, gatherings and activities. Their commitment throughout the academic year has been outstanding, and their actions have not gone unnoticed. So we invite our committees to celebrate their most enthusiastic members and officially name them their society's member of the year. Congratulations to each and every one of you. You can check out the list of everyone who won online and now take the time to enjoy our musical interlude and see all of their faces. I can't begin to make sense of Try all I can but the words run away from me No, I can't begin to make sense of you I'm Rob Smith, I'm the incoming Head of Education for the School of Physics and Astronomy and I'm honoured to be able to present the 2021 EPS Industrial Award. This award recognises students or societies whose success in forging links with industry has had a significant impact on students. These relationships with companies are vital for both our students' education and preparation for life after university. The Society's activities encourage skills development and employability, offer an insight into future career paths, and support the transition from education to employment. So the shortlisted societies are uh, Science and Technology News and Views, otherwise known as SatNav, UB Virtual Reality, Women in Tech, RailSoc, and the Birmingham Energy Society. And the winner is Women in Tech for inspiring and empowering more women in technology this year. Your interview series posted on social media sharing advice from recent graduates undertaking internships and graduate schemes facilitated connections between successful women in tech and current students. Women in Tech has also developed great links with Microsoft, Goldman Sachs, the Bright Network and Siemens enabling them to connect students with a range of opportunities within these companies. Hi, I'm Anna and I'm a fourth year materials engineering student. I'm honoured to be able to present this award, which acknowledges the exemplary contributions of individual student members or whole societies who have made new connections in the college and have encouraged collaboration and inclusivity within the community. This year's shortlisted nominees are Avery Cunningham, ChemSoc, OSTEM, WISE and WIT. And the winner is OSTEM. For some LGBTQ plus people, especially students stuck living at home, their community can often feel out of reach. At a time when many first year LGBTQ plus students may not have been able to interact with their community before or are in unsupportive and unsafe homes due to their gender identity and sexuality, the OSTEM committee developed and maintained a safe space online where current students could support one another. They then took this one step further and collaborated with the local professionals and postgraduates chapter, widening the community further and creating 
a casual environment for networking within the LGBTQ plus STEM community. Furthermore, they also worked with WISE, Beams and the 93% Club to forge community and support networks throughout the intersecting marginalised communities who have been particularly affected by the pandemic. Congratulations, OSTEM. My name is John Wood and I'm an Outreach Fellow in the School of Chemical Engineering and it's my honour to present the award for Inspirational Committee Member. This award recognises those committee members who have been dedicated to the success of their society in terms of empowerment, engagement and inclusivity for the benefit of all. These people have been fully committed to their society and its running and have demonstrated exceptional uh, organisational skills and have enabled their society to thrive. This year's shortlisted nominees are Daniel Clark, Computer Science Society Postgraduate Research Member, Jacob Wilson, Computer Science Society a Special Events Rep, Lex Millions, Pointing Physical Society President, Paige Ramsden. Women in Science and Engineering Chair and Valeria Popescu, Women in Tech President and Founder. And the winner is Valeria Popescu for being founder and an integral part of the Women in Tech Committee. Valeria's passion for bridging the disparity in the tech field has been channeled into managing a multitude of special events over the last year. She has enabled members to engage with a host of successful women in tech events, whether these by talks through alumni, giving advice, or through holding events with companies such as Google, Bloomberg, and Siemens. Furthermore, she has already begun securing sponsorship for the society for the following year from Goldman Sachs. To quote a nomination, I have never seen a higher concentration of excellent events, speakers and sponsors than the ones for the 2020-2021 Women in Tech events. And I know a big portion of that is through the restless work of Valeria. Valeria, congratulations. The judges would also like to commend Lex Millins, PPS president. Their enthusiasm and hard work has been integral to the progress made by PPS over the last year. They have successfully coordinated a family scheme during such unprecedented times. They have worked to increase the inclusivity of their society and they have organised and led the organisation of 22 successful events, even securing the winning bid for the 2021 Conference for Astronomy and Physics students. They also supported the wider physics community by liaising with the head of school to ensure that all students' needs were met during a very stressful exam period. Congratulations, Lex. Hi, I'm Holly Foss. I'm a senior lecturer in the School of Engineering. This award recognises the role model of the year. It's for those who embody their society's values and instill these in others. They exemplify the best within themselves and this award recognises that. This year's shortlisted nominees are Avery Cunningham, Nuxop and OSTEM, Justin Chadwell, AFNOM and CSS, Megan Jenkins, MathSOC, Rowan Hornsby, CivSOC, Valeria Pompescu, WIT. The winner of the Role Model of the Year is Rowan Hornsby. Under Rowan, CivSoc has endeavoured to support its students through a particularly challenging year. Rowan has been at the heart of this, central to helping students integrate and adapt to virtual university life. He has offered unending support and kindness, personally advocating for students and for those struggling. This award recognises the member of staff who has gone above and beyond in their support to one or more societies making an outstanding contribution to the committee and its members throughout this year. Each society was invited to nominate the member of staff who has helped them the most throughout the year and we received many wonderful nominations. The five shortlisted members of staff this year are Andrea Radu from the School of Computer Science 
Grace Sermon from the College of Engineering and Physical Sciences. Richard Sheridan from the School of Metallurgy and Materials. Sean Elvidge from the School of Engineering. Zoe Schnepp from the School of Chemistry. The staff member of the year is Andrea Radu for her support of CSS and AlphaNorm. Now a lecturer and PERCAT rep for the School of Computer Science, Andrea has supported AlphaNorm since she was a PhD student at the university, always making time for them even as her academic responsibilities increased over the years. Dr Radu goes well above and beyond her roles within the school to make sure that AlphaNorm is supported in running events, helping students at every stage of their ethical hacking development, and fostering a collaborative and fun environment within the school and across the college. Andrea's passion for getting young women to consider cybersecurity as a career has resulted in a strong gender ratio within AFNOM. Her drive to open opportunities to all has seen her run cyber competitions, offer the opportunities for undergraduates to travel abroad and spend her free time adapting what she learns at conferences to share with the students at AFNOM. Congratulations, Andrea. This year, at the committee's discretion, we have chosen this year to award an additional Staff Member of the Year award. This is in recognition of this person's contribution to the EPS societies and the EPS community as a whole over a sustained amount of time. Therefore, we would like to award Grace Sermon with the Continued Excellence in EPS Award. Grace works tirelessly with the Spectrum of Societies within the College of EPS. The go-to encyclopedia on societies, Grace is always there to help organise events, give advice for general running of societies, or even just an ear for when you're feeling particularly overwhelmed. Her alumni contacts through her role as Alumni Relations Manager have been invaluable in promoting the events run by societies over the years and an integral factor in the success of networking and careers-focused events. Everyone knows how much Grace goes above and beyond in her role to keep the EPS community growing and achieving great heights. This year in particular, she has worked so hard to help the societies integrate new members during challenging months of lockdowns without the usual routes of in-person fairs and social events. She understands what the societies need and is completely committed to making sure they get it. She is often the first port of call for any society. From societies starting from scratch during a pandemic to the societies that are practically part of the woodwork, knowing that there is someone like Grace always ready to fight your corner and dedicated to helping you grow is invaluable. Her commitment to the EPS community is matched by no one else in the college. She has helped us grow from 13 to 42 student societies and students and alumni feel proud to return to. The awards and the EPS society's community inspires us to reach the success in our events initiatives and encourages us to forge lifelong friendships and connections across the college and supports us unendingly in bringing our ideas to life her patience and ability to weather any and all questions know no bounds. Who else would own, not only tolerate, but barely bat an eyelid at questions like, how much do you think we should be paying an emo drag act to play after our conference? Finally, without her efforts eight years ago in founding the EPS Society's Awards, we would not even be here celebrating tonight. On a personal note, it has been a true honour and a privilege to follow in her footsteps in becoming the lead for the event, even if it has been a very tough act to follow. And she has done all this while definitely dodging any and all praise about how epic she is. There is no other staff member who would be so happy to spend so much of their time helping us with every hurdle, great and small, alike with patience, kindness and expertise, often at considerably short notice. Congratulations to both our winners and to everyone else who was shortlisted. The societies wouldn't be the same without you. Incredible thank you to all the staff members who have worked so closely with our societies this year. And an extra thank you to Grace Sermon, who has been absolutely incredible over the last eight years. And with that, we would like to do our final musical interlude. Set me free. If I could 
just break down this wall If I can just break through then you will see my nature Please don't stop listening That nobody knows The world needs to hear my voice If I can write it all down If I can let it all go Then maybe you'll find a know Now you know final awards of the night. Head of College Idea of the Year, and I will hand you over to Professor Stephen Jarvis. I've had the pleasure of reading all about the amazing initiatives that the EPS societies have come up with during this difficult pandemic year, and have had the impossible task of shortlisting my favorite and choosing an ultimate winner for this year's Head of College Idea of the Year Award. This award recognizes the innovative and new projects and events that have had a significant impact on the schools or societies involved in this academic year. This year, the shortlisted nominees are the EPS Running Festival, a virtual running event organized by Isaac Burrell, Billy Gray, Amy Locks, Emily Cramp and Lucy Walker and Dr. Zoe Schnepp of the Chemical Society. The importance of looking after one's mental health has been a prominent theme through the lockdown. Isolation and staying at home to stay safe and the uncertainty of the future have all contributed to a decline in physical and mental well-being over the past year. And to combat this, ChemSoc have encouraged members of the EPS community to stay active whilst also raising money for MIND at the same time. The event saw over 100 staff and students from across the college team up to compete runs from three kilometres to a half marathon. And the Facebook group, where members connected to share their training and fundraising progress, added to a sense of team spirit, and everyone who took part received a medal at the end of the event. Trophies were presented for those who had the best performances, but even more impressive was the incredible £7,827 raised for MIND whilst also raising the awareness of the charity amongst our communities. This event has been so well received that it has been requested that next year an in-person event might be organised. So we'll look forward to do that uh, when it's safe to do so. Next up is the founding of the 93% Club by Nazbur Rahman and a fantastic group working to support the personal and professional development of students from all socio-economic backgrounds and to support their career aspirations. The 93% Club at Birmingham was founded in the summer 2020 
uh, with the aim of empowering students from socially mobile backgrounds and to provide them with opportunities that will help a level playing field when it comes to academic and employment opportunities. Led by Nazibur, the Society has gone to great lengths to enable their members to develop the skills and motivation required to enter top professions, regardless of their background. And over the year, they've built up an extensive support network of members from across the university. And they've managed to gather almost 700 followers on their social media platforms. And have even launched their own podcast to further the reach of the advice and opportunities available. They've partnered with experts and professionals to share their insights into various careers. And they've given their members a real boost to enable them to pursue their dream careers, even in the face of challenges posed by COVID. The founding of the Women in Tech Society by Valeria Popescu, Hasfa Yazir and Patricia Pascan was founded at the beginning of the pandemic as a way to unite students interested in the tech sector with a common aim to learn about career opportunities. Women in Tech aims to inspire more women to discover tech and to consider it as a possible career option regardless of their degree disciplines. With an ethos of empowering their members to pursue their ambitions in a few short months, Women in Tech have launched their brand identity, gathered a great number of active followers and members and created an inspiring initiative. They've held virtual events for Black History Month, uh, for International Women's Day, organized several speed networking events, lightning talks with alumni and professionals, and created a series of talks for showcasing successful women in tech, collaborated with several employers and industry partners as well as housing a number of virtual social events. A testament to the dedication of the committee is the strength of the community they've forged from the ground up during this challenging year, with most of their members never meeting in person. The next shortlisted society is Pointing's Python Society, with sessions set up by Lex Millings, Marcus Madrai, Nat Mendelssohn and Henry Adrilach, Morgan James and Cameron Walker from PPS, Pointing Physical Society. With the pandemic moving almost all teaching at the university online for a period this academic year, many students have found it difficult to engage with content which is normally much more easily grasped with the environment of face-to-face -face taught sessions. The first year undergraduate physics module on computer programming is notoriously difficult even in person, uh, especially for those who have had no previous experience. These named members of PPS nominated here are those who have selflessly given up their Saturday mornings to fill a need. Having solidified their computer science programming over their years of undergraduate education, these second and third year students offered an expertly planned workshop style series of sessions aimed at bridging the gaps in the core knowledge held by first year physicists. These sessions have uh, targeted the well-known conceptually challenging areas of the course and offered one-to-one -one help with knowledgeable members. Not only did the sessions offer the opportunity to forge the core skill sets needed for the rest of their degree, but it also reassured students that they were not alone and didn't need to struggle. And the sessions have enabled first-year students to come together as a group, but also with older students uh, who could give their own perspective of the subject. And finally, the International Women's Day series of events organised by Emma Kelwin and Amy Smith from Birmingham University Materials Society. Starting off as simply a bum speed networking careers event, the initial meeting of the organising committee meeting sparked an idea that would evolve into 17 events and run for over two weeks with 70 alumni throughout the College of Engineering and Physical Sciences. The event series offered an insight into a variety of careers through the medium of lightning talks and virtual discussions, with almost all of the speakers identifying as women, and in the celebration of the International Women's Day 2021. Students in EPS were introduced to Birmingham graduates in a vast range of science and engineering sectors, from new graduates who had secured their first employment during the pandemic, to senior managers and project leaders and these alumni offered invaluable knowledge and opportunities for discussion to our current EPS cohort, equipping them with detailed insights into the job roles and careers available to them after graduation. All of these initiatives deserve tremendous recognition for what they've done for the College of Engineering and Physical Sciences. 
However, one must be recognised as the idea of the year. And that is Women in Tech. Many congratulations. Hi everyone, this is Daisy calling from Stone in Staffordshire. I'm a previous graduate from the School of Mechanical Engineering in 2016 and I'm currently a site engineer for Balfour Beatty. First of all, I just want to take a moment to recognise the huge achievement that these awards have become. I'm so proud of how far we've got from starting them in 2012 and how much effort has gone into producing an online awards that I can now watch from home. So thank you for getting me involved again. I'm honoured to be able to present the penultimate award of the night. This award recognises outstanding contributions to the College of Engineering and Physical Sciences, encapsulates the positive traits celebrated throughout all other awards, and seeks to recognise exceptional individuals within the EPS society. These are a future leading alumni. These individuals endeavour to provide the best possible experience to their fellow students and offer opportunities that cannot be found elsewhere. These nominees to this award motivate and achieve the best and could be winners in any previous category and are an exceptional example of students from the University of Birmingham. The nominees are Avery Cunningham from Nuxark and Ostem, Justin Chadwell from AFNOM and CSS, and Megan Jenkins from MathSoc. The winner of this award and truly deserving of it is Avery Cunningham. Avery is the very fabric of the UPS community. In his six years, he has taken on countless responsibilities with unparalleled selflessness and expertise. He is the UK OSTEM Professionals and Postgraduates President and Director of Student Membership for OSTEM Incorporated, where he's led OSTEM's global expansion over 100 chapters from across the USA, UK, Canada and Mexico. As the beating heart of Newtsock, Avery ran events from the International Women's Day networking event to the experience of black professionals in the nuclear industry and successfully giving Nuxoc the inclusive focus it needed. As founder and lead organiser for the STEM LGBTQ and U conference, Avery secured thousands in sponsorship as well as a huge international volunteer pool. Avery has even represented the UOB at Kensington Palace. Beyond societies, Avery has excelled as Vice Chair of the Institute of Materials, Minerals and Mining Pride Network and EDI Lead for the Nuclear Institute and Midlands Branch. Off the clock, Avery is the same. Known affectionately as Daddy Ostem, he has kept sober at social events and cooked Ostem Christmas meals so that everybody has the chance to have at least one festivity in a supportive environment. Avery is one of the most well-connected, loved people at the UOB. He's the very reason these awards are happening this year. Whilst nothing could repay Avery for his work and his warmth and so, so many hope this nomination does some part in expressing the gratitude. And from a personal note, it's very well deserved. The effort that has been put in to these awards this year is absolutely unparalleled. It's such a well deserved award, so congratulations. Thank you for having me back and it's been lovely to be a part of your evening. Goodbye. And now for our final award of the night. Normally we would be celebrating in the Great Hall and there would be an absolutely massive roar when this winner is announced. Although we cannot be in that environment tonight, I mentally will be there as we announce Society of the Year for 2020, 2021. Hi, I'm Nicole Saw and I'm an alumni working in the nuclear industry. I'm honored to be able to present the final award. This coveted award celebrates those societies that have pushed the boundaries and delivered more than ever before. Through outstanding events, innovative projects and activities, superb organisation and raising awareness, these societies provide an exceptional, well-rounded and inclusive experience to their members. They embody the ethos of the EPS community. The following societies have gone above and beyond during an unprecedented academic year to give the EPS community an amazing year. These societies are BUMS, Chemsoc, 
CSS, WISE, and UBBR. However, only one could be crowned Society of the Year, and that winner is... WISE! WISE has worked really hard this year to provide the same opportunities for their volunteers, members and outreach students, despite the added difficulties the pandemic has brought. In fact, WISE has organised 23 events, more than ever before, whilst collaborating with 18 other societies across the university, including MedSoc, OSTEM and Women in Tech. These events included the WISE Inspire webinar with guest speakers from industry and academia, a placement information event for prospective first and second year students and a series of online socials for their members. WISE also did a fantastic job this year of engaging with the community, as mentioned various collaborations with other societies, giveaway challenges in social media and the return of the Equal and Spend STEM panel which successfully moved online this year with OSTEM, Beams and the 93% Club. This panel brought together a variety of speakers to discuss the challenges in STEM particularly those faced during the pandemic. On top of this, WISE continued to engage with schools in Birmingham, giving girls throughout the wider community access to inspirational role models, fun science activities, and increasing their engagement with STEM in these challenging times. WISE's list of creative and engaging event goes on. Being a supportive and personal society, COVID restrictions have meant a critical rethinking of events throughout the year. WISE has approached these with hurdles with persistence and positivity. The committee has worked tirelessly to ensure a successful year with increased engagements with members in order to support well-being, welcome students and promote an online community spirit. Their ethos to support and promote women in STEM has been extended across campus, promoting events as well as having an open door policy for anyone who needed them. Congratulations to WISE for winning Society of the Year 2020 to 2021. With that, we've reached the end of the EPS Society's Award 2021. Congratulations to WISE for winning Society of the Year and a massive congratulations to every winner of all our awards tonight. And congratulations to every single one of you who was nominated. This year has been a particularly difficult one, and the enthusiasm and your dedication you've shown to your societies and to your college community as a whole is inspiring, and it's helped us survive a year like no other. We would not be able to celebrate without the work of all those who have made these awards possible. Thank you to everyone who took the time to acknowledge the hard work of our societies through nominating them for the awards. Thank you to the judges who had the impossible job of shortlisting and choosing winners for each of the categories. Thank you to the Rolls-Royce University Technology Centre for their sponsorship of the event and their support of all our students. And a special thank you to Avery Cunningham and the organising committee who enabled this amazing awards ceremony to continue online for another year and with the hope in 2022 that we can again celebrate in person. And finally, thank you for watching tonight. Good night.
tasted all my younger years I've tasted all so bitter tears I tried to run, I tried to hide Leaving all this mess behind I've wasted all my younger years I've tasted all so bitter tears I've tried to run, I tried to hide Leaving all this mess behind I've wasted all my younger years I've tasted all so bitter tears I've tried to run, I tried to hide Leaving all this mess behind Never see anyone ever again. Never see anyone. 